hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. It's me, Jake. I'm here in the truck. I told you this was going to happen. You knew it was going to happen. So now it's happening. Oh, I guess I could switch the... Oh, I think I... I you got to switch it around if you want it to be... So it looks like a regular truck. That Now it looks like I'm on the right side of the truck, doesn't it? Is that better? I think it's better. Who knows if it's better or not? Um, oh, I think I can see that someone's here. But uh, Dave, greetings from the truck. Jen, greetings. I've been thinking about that hat. You must be knitting me. Um, I hope you will. Paul, greetings. I can see that you're watching. Uh, somehow, somehow now I'm getting notifications. Uh, uh, Moses in the house, or actually the truck. Yes, Rachel, I've got, uh, Moses is here. My daughter is briefed that she's got to be up here. I'm going to have to, uh, um, I'm going to have to say it's 3.03 right now, and she's going to come out to the, to the truck. Hello, Rich. Greetings to you, Christopher. Howdy doody. And hello to you, Keith. So my daughter's coming out here at uh, <clears throat> quarter after, and we're going to have to go away to her basketball thing. So I don't want to waste too much time before I get into the Bible and the letter from Grandma because today's going to be a shorter show than usual for those reasons, although I still do have a lot of things. Will it still be a good show, Mr. Predicto, even though it's a bit shorter? Will the show still be good? Oh, let's see. Todd, hello, it's all writing on this. That is a likely outcome. Oh, it is a likely outcome that it'll be a good show. I'm glad to hear it, Mr. Predicto. <laughs> I was going to call BS on him if he was wrong. Dave. Greetings, Brad. Greetings. Let's get on with it because, hello, Jerry, would you like to be on the show? I'm going to get Fanula ready to go. Yeah, to she's going to be out here at five, five or so after. Oh, in just a couple of minutes. Or no, minutes. quarter after. Yeah, yeah okay, Between I'll do that. 15 and 20 after. Okay, well, give them a mwah from me. Oh, if you come around the other side, you can okay. be seen. Lady Jerry making a special appearance here at the truck truck show. <laughs> Brad, yeah, quality show. <laughs> exactly. The oh, car, there you it? are. Let's let take a look. Hello. There's Lady Jerry. Oh, yeah, really beautifully you top look, lit, side lit. I look you're blown like, out a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like one of my old headshots on the yeah. beach when I was meeting Adam at yeah. to rendezvous and yeah. who knows what we were going to get up to. Anyway, yeah. hello, everybody. It's good to see you. Yeah. I have to go and get the uh, the teenager ready for basketball with her dad. Um, love you guys. Yeah. Love okay. You too, see you. Yeah, I don't think my daughter's going to allow Kevin to... She's not going to be appearing in the show because she won't do that. <laughs> Belinda does look like Casper. Um, so if you've been to the group chat, you'll know that uh, thank you to... Uh, um, to Julie that she posted. It seems like the first daily briefing, well, it wasn't called the daily briefing, but the first appearance that I made live uh, into the pandemic was on March 26th. And if you go to the group chat, you can see that. And I did notice, Flavia, that you were there on that day. Um, you feel like you're in a Grateful Dead song pick. Yeah, <laughs> that happens from time to time. But uh, before we get too deep into uh, Jerry Garcia, let's let's get into this. Uh, oh, you can't use the dome light to read you. Uh, children's Bible. Uh, oh, there we go. Now I'll get the sun on it. Moses warns the Pharaoh. After God had spoken to him, Moses returned home. God had told Moses that the men who wanted to kill him were now dead, and it would be safe for him to go back to Egypt. Moses told his father-in-law of his plan and asked for his blessing. Go in peace, said Jethro fondly. <laughs> Uh, you do love the name Jethro, right? Since the Beverly Hillbillies? I hope so. Um, so Moses left Midian, uh, taking with him the staff of God, which also turns into a snake. A great magic trick. Um, and accompanied by his wife, his sons, and his brother Aaron. He came once more to Egypt. He and Aaron went at once to see the Pharaoh. I have come at the command of God of Israel to ask you to let his people go, said Moses. <laughs> Man, I'm loving, the, I'm loving the lighting right now. It's insane on this. Um, Pharaoh smiled coldly. Would you, why do you stir up trouble among my slaves? I will teach you what it means to defy me. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that, Pharaoh. Moses got God on his side. And he gave orders that the Israelites who had been put 
to make bricks out of mud and straw should no longer have straw provided. They must find it for themselves in the fields, which brick making is made much more difficult when they're not bringing you the straw. So the Israelites, already worked to exhaustion by their masters, were in despair. How can we make bricks if we must gather the straw also, they cried. But their cries were ignored, and those who failed to make as many bricks as before were savagely beaten. Man, the Pharaoh, what a douche. Who is worse, the Pharaoh or Jeff Bezos? Uh, <laughs> these Amazon warehouse working conditions are pretty terrible. Um, although my understanding is they do provide you with the straw that you need. Um, Look at your people, Lord, said Moses. They are being treated even more harshly, and there is no hope of release. Speak again to the Pharaoh, said God, and uh, demand that he let my people go. So the brothers stood a second time before Pharaoh and his court, only to receive the same answer. But Moses, remembering what God had told him, signaled to Aaron to throw down the staff. I'm surprised they didn't think of this snake trick earlier. Um, and Aaron did so, and the staff touched the ground. It turned into a serpent. At this, Pharaoh gave the order to his royal magicians, and they threw down their staffs, which turned into serpents too. Mm. This was pre-internet. The pharaohs, all magicians, all have snake staffs. Um, and they were swallowed up by Aaron's serpent. Uh, but Pharaoh remained unmoved. Go to the banks of the Nile, said the Lord to Moses. And when Pharaoh comes down to the river, ask him again to let my people go. And if he will not, strike the surface of the water with your staff. And so Moses and Aaron went down to the river and waited for Pharaoh to come. Oh, my God. And that is the end of Moses warning Pharaoh. And the next episode is called The Plagues of Egypt. And I got a feeling that Pharaoh is a bit slow on the uptake. This guy's a douche, worse than Jeff Bezos, easily worse than Jeff Bezos, and that is saying something. Um, <laughs> Jen, you're saying the burning bush reminds you of college. Did you get into the burning bush in college? Um, <laughs> Norman, you're saying God's the ultimate Marvel hero. Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> Pick, you're saying I'm glowing. Yeah, the lighting in the truck, it just happens that the sun is coming from straight out the, the dash into the truck this way in our driveway. And so um, <laughs> teeth whitening is off the hook. Yeah, well, I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say my teeth are really as white. I remember when I was uh, a bit younger, Fanula was young, and she would say, uh, Dad, why are your teeth so yellow? Mm. Kids, they're so candid. All right, so today's... Um, Oh, today's letter from Grandma is from the other Grandma. We missed this during the first letters from Grandma. This is from my father's mother. This is from Grandma Johansson. Oh, my goodness. What a surprise. Seize the day for today. Um, so here we go. Oh, her handwriting is a bit, a bit uh, tricky. She says, well... This is uh, late. Oh, when is this from? This is from uh, my birthday, 1982. Um, this is a little late birthday card, but we did not know your address there. <laughs> a lot of troubles getting my address in San Francisco, I guess. I guess I was moving and finding a permanent place to live at this time. I have much trouble, um, to always, have the right address Grandma is getting old. <laughs> you know you're getting old when you start to go third person with yourself. Uh, and I get them mixed, uh, mixed too. We're okay, only getting slower and slower. I am 88. Grandpa is 94 uh, in October. So all don't see so easy and uh, anymore. Glad to see... Uh, my mom and dad last week, and um, also Sue. She will be at school again. I gave her $5, <laughs> too, so here is yours, too. Uh, there must have been $5 in here, which I don't still have. Uh, I hope all is going good for you. Tell Rita, this is also her... Uh, um, her other grandchild. Hello, too. If you see her, uh, we get lonesome 
for all you grandchildren. Uh, they, the Connells, that's uh, Rita's parents, and uh, Charlie Sheldon and the Billerbecks were here too. <laughs> she does say two a lot, Grandma Johansson. Cards Thursday night, they love to play cards. And we all like to play um, cards. All are fine, the children are fine. Marjorie Oaks family too. Take care of yourself. Um, much love to you from all of us here. Nice. Um, where are Sue's letters from Grandma? David, I don't know. You'll have to ask Sue about that. I'll have to ask Sue about that now that you bring it up. I wonder if she does have some letters from Grandma. Um, and that would be exciting to, to see some, some of the flip side of the letters from Grandma <laughs> that my sister received. I would like to see that. But first, it's time to take my temperature. It is hot in the car. Um, I don't have letters from Sue because we didn't really write each other. Uh, I'm 99.5. That's from being hot in the car. Man, that goes to show you right there. Um, I'm just scrolling up through the comments. <laughs> Looks like I'll exceed 90. Yeah, I may exceed 90 yet if I don't give up, but I'm trying not to get, uh, I'm not to give up. Um, all right. No, I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, Grandma Plot Quest, you're right. <laughs> Bob, yeah, OMG, this is epic. The other grandma, I know. I didn't know that I had uh, letters from the other grandma. And as you can tell, I did, she was a bit older than my mom's mom. And so her ability, well, as she says, they're getting older, they're tired, they're lonely, uh, they don't see so good. So um, yeah, it was, it was epic. I was, I was loving that. I, I did love that there was a letter from the other grandma. I didn't know that. Oh, uh, here we go. That was super cool hearing from the other grandma, Rachel saying. <laughs> Such a nice relationship with both of them. Yeah, well, they live about uh, 10 minutes apart from each other. They did. Um, Julie, you're saying you may only have a minute. I did get your package. I was waiting to see that you were here to say so. Thank you very much. Julie has sent me a new box of questions, which will be uh, featured on tomorrow's episode the new box of questions. Um, do you know what card game they like to play? Uh, you're saying, Gary, I do. Uh, well, I know what they would play when they were with my parents. They would play this game called Pepper, which is a uh, suited game. Um, you know, so you have a trump card, there's bidding in the trump card. So it's a bit like, a, uh, it's a bit like bridge, but, but more, m more easy, more easier than bridge. But yeah, they would play Pepper with my parents. And my grandparents would play Pepper, and that's what they would play with the cousins. So they all knew this game, Pepper. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Jen, you got a postcard from Laura. I know, I saw the picture of all those postcards that she bought. Um, I just want to make sure that I get do all the things. I've got the fart machine in the truck, as you see, just in case I get pulled over by the police. And uh, the fun meter, of course, is at the maximum. I mean, I'm in the truck. Anytime I'm in the truck, fun meters at the maximum but let me just tell you my daughter is going to be out here in about a minute and so it's time for seize the day um scott you're saying it's like bridge only more gambly yeah there was some gambly there was some gambly going on with pepper um maybe we'll have to look up how to play pepper and that's what we can we can have a pepper night at jake fest <laughs> if you're up for it uh all right it's time for seize the day apologies that today's show is a bit shorter than uh, the other shows but thanks to mr predicto we know that it was a quality show same same great quality i'm sorry keys is not here to witness it um I'm glad you guys are all here. Uh, apologies again for the sh foreshortened show. Uh, tomorrow's show will be a regular length. I will be in the uh, the Grateful Dead truck and outro. Well, I did call the show truck and Kevin. Um, I would like to, if, I, if only I could sing. Well, maybe we'll do a little singing here at the end. You guys will have to sing along. Uh, it'll only work if you do it too. Today's Seize the Day is by Jimmy Dean, uh, who is a musician. Um, <laughs> Norman, you're too tired to seize the day. Don't worry about it, bro buddy. I'll take care of it for you. Um, so today's daily briefing is from Jimmy Dean. Uh, he was a musician in, I think, the 50s and 60s. And then also he had this Jimmy Dean's Pure Pork Sausage that we used to get advertised all the time. Well, that was when we lived in Tennessee. So I'm not sure if it was national. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was national, but I don't know if you saw as many ads for Jimmy Dean's Pure Pork Sausage as we did down in Tennessee. Um, so Jimmy Dean, 
musician and sausage maker and aficionado. And Jimmy Dean, his Seize the Day is about sausage. Sausage. Sausage is a great deal like life. As you might expect a sausage guy to say that. Sausage is a great deal like life. You get out of it what you put into it. Um, so there's your Seize the Day. Uh, that's your show for today. It's been my pleasure to be here. Um, don't forget, don't give up. There will be plenty of time to give up later. And uh, now, Fanula, will you come in and make just a brief appearance just to show your face on the show? Please, pretty please, pretty please with Jimmy Dean sausage on top. She's running back into the house. All right, you guys, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Be nice to a jerk and take care of yourselves.